people, 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 people. Keep us a sup, say what they do. Now, people, you know that if you live in America, Canada, or UK, one of those decent law abiding places, and you park your car in the wrong place, we are talking about the two away zone, and the poor poor come and them catch you, they are going to ticket it. And even the poor poor from the municipal corporation, if them spot your car, they are going to more than likely ticket you. They are going to clamp your tire or they are going to tow your car. However, people with sister in Jamaica, things are run a little differently. Things run differently in a Jamaica. Now this is based on a little incident that took place in a Montego Bay and it seems that the tow truck they were trying to tow this man car however he was not having it and um, people understand that as it pertains to Montego Bay we are talking about one of the gang capital, we are talking about one of the gun capital, we are talking about one of the bad man capital them in a Jamaica. So people take a listen, take a look to the reaction and then I'll give my peace. Now just based on this video, it seems like the owner of the car was kind of P-I-S-S-E-D off and him let off we are talking about a six piece and I am not speaking about no happy meal. We are talking about some stress meal and um, people even in the windshield or the side glass of the car you could not see at least four hole. We are talking about some big hole and um, people you understand that if those holes end up in anybody's head it is going to be a problem we are talking about vegetable we are talking about comatos or emo words we are talking about dung a dove cut so people the moral of the story is this and don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued Jamaica is a struggling place, Jamaica is a suffering place and even sometimes when you see people driving their car they can ill afford to put gas in there, they can ill afford to pay insurance, they can ill afford to afford, we are talking about the payment them, we are talking about the monthly payment, so therefore whenever them park somewhere even though most of the time they know that they are not supposed to park there and even sometimes the truth and the fact is that you are not fully aware that this is a two-way zone so therefore you park there by mistake however you still have to pay the piper and people the truth and the fact is that these two truck men in jamaica they are very disgusting and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued they are actually doing their job however when you live in a poor place, you have to have discretion. You can't really pray upon poor people because if people stress out and then you put some additional stress upon them, you're only going to push them over the edge. And people, in this case, it seems as if that is the case. And people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that this is justified. Me just I say I can kind of understand. Not saying that I would do the same. Me just I say you can push people over the edge. Expect especially when they are broke and stressed out. Now people like me say I was not there, I don't know what happened, I don't know the underlying story, I cannot put things into context, I am just going based solely off this video and my interpretation of the situation. However, like you see, the car is still on the tow truck, so therefore the people they are going to know who is the person who this car is registered to, so people are talking about problem. So 
even if this man is a lies of firearm holder, which I doubt, he is going to come under some sort of pressure. We are talking about from the firearm authority, point blank and period. And people, even if he is a G U N M A N, we are talking about problems. So people, we just assure you, sir. People kind of get ticked off right now. People are on edge right now and any little thing can basically tick them off. So you have to be careful when you're out there. We are speaking about even upon the road because people say so any card can play. Anything can pop off at any point of the time. So Jamaica is like a volcano just waiting to erupt point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word don't put any space between the words and also i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please to subscribe to this channel we are speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please to press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news we see a 55 year old man and he is from Hayes Clarendon and he is also from Cane Valley we are talking about St. Anne's and based on the information it is said that he is a previously convicted we are talking about a man we love touch up like a picnic and also jump over them fence without going through the gate so we are talking about a little perverted man point blank and period. Now, based on the information, it is said that he is back in the custody of the Popo once again, one more again. And um, people, I'm going to explain to you his record and what he did before this. However, back to the story at hand. So, based on the report from the Popo, it is said that he was taken into custody. We are speaking about on May 27, 2020. And he was charged with forcible A B D U C T I O N and also jumping over the fence. And people, if you don't understand what I mean when I say jump over the fence, we are talking about touch up like a picnic. And we are speaking about a minor that is actually under 16. And people in this case, the little picnic, we are talking about she was 13 years old. So people, we are talking about a person that just basically enter in our teenage. We are talking about a young and point blank and period. Now, based on the information from the Popo, it said that there was a three-year probe that started from 2017 to 2020. And it is said that based on the information that from October 1st to October 4th, 2017 this man invited the little 13 year old to him house may i talk about it seems like she had run away from home and him invite her over him house now people let me ask you a question you as a big great tone man what rights do you have to be inviting a picnic that run away over to your house unless you have some sort of ill intention so based on the information from the popo and residents it is said that after this little picnic runner from home in basically take her and put her in her property and jump over our fence we are talking about a couple of times so people we are talking about a man that is 55 and we are speaking about a picnic that is 13. so we are talking about 42 years the difference so people let me ask you a question what kind of feelings this pervert couldn't have for this little picnic so anyways it is said that he locked the teenager in our house and it was somebody that was passing and hearing the picnic and scream out and then they went and rescued her and that is how this man was basically put upon the radar of the popo so people we are talking about a pervert that is getting highlighted and we are speaking about the next elderly man we are talking about a man that is like 15 years or 10 years from his retirement so people we are talking about one shrivel up balls man point blank and period now what is even more disturbing or disgusting about this whole case is that based on the Paul Paul record it is said that Mr. Brown and that is his name Cecil Brown he was convicted back in 2016 and he did six months for touching up a little picnic we are talking about a five-year-old now people let me ask you a question only not say something wrong with the court system and the justice system in a jamaica because if a man can touch up a little five-year-old and get six months 
people what must he do to get some real time however hopefully in this case based on the fact that he is a repeat offender he will get the real time that he deserves may i talk about life may i talk about in the big house may i talk about in the slammer point blank and period so anyways based on the court record and popo report it is that he did six months and he was given a three-year suspended sentence and he was released in 2017 and people fast forward after the three-year probe he is doing the same thing once again one more again he is getting wasara so people what we see here is an epic failure of the justice system once again one more again because them let out a little pervert a little dirty man a little jankro forgot they go do the same thing and people that is what he did and people the truth and the fact is that when you give somebody like this a chance if you give them one chance they are going to violate if you give them a hundred chance they are going to violate so therefore the only solution is that you basically get them the jungle type or basically lock them away for a very long long time we are talking about at least a hundred years and also castrate them we are talking about cut off them like a piece and also the piece for hang down we are talking about the shibla piece and people don't get it twisted don't get misconstrued i don't know i've never seen it but just i say it would be my recommendation point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me said it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up